Wes, thank you so much for taking the time today for Monsters and Critics. And congrats. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. And congrats on booking the lead in Z Day. So, you know how people do their like little quotes for movies. Mine would be like a testosterone bolstering experience. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to do some push ups. <laughs> I'm so very glad to hear that. Yeah, man. <laughs> it was sick. It's supposed to be inspiring, it's for sure. Yeah, man. It just like made me proud to be American and uh, made me want to do pull-ups at the same Definitely. time. Definitely. Yeah. 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 With that. I felt the same kind of motivation from that whole yeah. experience. That's and awesome. uh, and the, the honor that it instills in you, you know, to, to be an American and to know what those men accomplished. Yeah. So that's awesome. So what was that like? So you so you get this, this part in this movie and... You know, there's a lot of pressure, you know, because you're you were um, portraying a real individual and, yeah. you know, a real person. And what was that experience like for you kind of um, kind of trying to um, put yourself in the shoes of somebody, you know, who, who did so much for our country and, and for other countries as well? Absolutely. You know, my my entire experience with the character development and the research and that was really based on um the obligation that that I had it was fueled by that obligation where I knew I was playing a real triumphant war hero that led the second and fifth army rangers into this battle yeah. and I studied him as diligently as I could because I really wanted to make sure that I was doing him uh, justice and mm. bringing honor to more more you know bringing honor to his name I didn't yeah. want to dishonor him and uh, I was meditating a lot and you know, asking a higher power to my higher power to let me channel uh, mm. Lieutenant Colonel James Earl Rudder in that's this film. That's incredible, man. Because um, you did a really great job. You had like this leadership about you. Like I, I don't know anything about the military, but I would have followed you anywhere, man. Like oh, I, just awesome, awesome performance. I appreciate you immensely. I yeah. Appreciate you. So um, we're gonna get into more of the uh, the movie in just a second. But um, sure. like, there's an awesome story here um, with uh, you and, and your friend, Jesse Cove, yes. uh, booking this movie together. And um, unknowingly, right? So I talked to Jesse Cove about four days ago, and, and he said you guys both independently booked this movie without knowing that. Without knowing. That's, magic of the universe. That's so cool. Literally magic of the universe. I had texted Jesse yeah. uh, because we always we, we met in high school and we met in theater and yeah. we discovered that we had similar interests and that we were brothers immediately and that we had both were exploring the arts together, mutual passions. Yeah. And so we always stay in contact about our, our work and, and every aspect of life. Mm -hmm. And I texted Jesse. I'm like, I did it. I think I did really well today in an audition. I feel really good about it. He's like, I did too. I'm like, well, yeah, I just did a World War II movie audition. He's like, me too. And the, we kept texting until we found out that we auditioned for the same movie. And wow. we both got the roles that we auditioned for. And our brotherhood continued on the movie set. <laughs> it, was, it was impeccable. One of the great moments of, of, of the universe. That is so cool. Yeah. I mean, it seems like a God thing. Like, just straight up. It just Definitely. seems it's like an awesome thing. Absolutely. So, um, so tell me about um, growing up with, with Jesse, you know, like you guys just, did, would you guys just, because I know you are, um, you're the son of Nicolas Cage and yeah. he's the son of Martin Cove. And, you know, what was that like just growing up with, you know, kind of a, a family dynamic there as far as um, having him and, and, you know, being able to just kind of have that friend in the industry to, to you know, to support each other in that sense. What was that like? It was very comforting, you know, to, to, to be friends with someone that came from a similar uh, arrangement as I did, a uh, similar family background. I think that we really brought an element of understanding to each other because it's such a different el uh, dynamic to grow up with, to mm -hmm. have that, uh, to come from a family of notoriety and sure. to be seen as different by other people in that mm -hmm. regard. So. There was just a familiarity there that, you know, and a comfort to mm -hmm. where we could just talk without, with knowing that there were no assumptions or preconceived notions in our minds about each other, because that, that would occur quite a bit. You know, there are people that 
already have a definition for you without knowing you just because of where you came from it can, it can get rough wow just seeing you two on on you know on screen together and knowing that bond was there it was just like this makes sense like these two are tight you know i'm glad that translated we definitely kept some of our brotherly chemistry in there yeah, yeah i think it definitely translated and um made itself present yeah so um yeah what was it tell me about the moment when you first realized that you had the part together like the first you know what kind of feelings went through your head the moment you realized like wow this is the same movie it just once again confirmed the existence of the higher power yeah. and that and that we're that there is a fate and there are miracles placed upon it yeah for all of us you know that's awesome so um what was what was your prep like for for preparing for this role um what kind of stuff did you do to prepare um for, for playing him i reviewed a lot of the history of that particular battle mm -hmm. and also colonel rudder's history uh, he was a football coach so okay. I really uh, explored that and uh, incorporated a strategic and almost paternal um, angle at the way I carried out my my acting. Yeah. Um, and you know that that whole story, um, D Day, the movie, it it shows us the lesser known battle of Point Du Hoc, which occurred concurrently with the invasion of Omaha Beach in Normandy. Mm -hmm. France on D-Day, um, June 6, 1944. This battle was astronomically difficult. It, it defied the basic laws of warfare. Lieutenant Colonel James Earl Rudder and mm -hmm. the Second Army Rangers were ordered to scale a 100-foot cliff mm -hmm. with one of the most dangerous Nazi defensive positions situated at the top of it. Mm -hmm. And there was oncoming gunfire, uh, high-powered artillery, um, there was a severe, a, a serious position at the top, and they were still able to clear that mm. and locate the guns that were um, going to be used on our infantry and would have caused even more casualties than there already were. Uh, but the intel was wrong. They're actually inland, and they had to go through another battle, and they also helped other soldiers that were on Omaha Beach. Gotcha. Yeah. That's awesome. So you had a lot of Man, there was, I, w I wouldn't know how to answer this question if I were you, because there were a lot of cool moments. But if you had to define, like, one of the coolest moments for you, you know, on set, I'm sure you'd have to phrase this in a way that wouldn't give it away. But, you know, if you had to, to define one of the coolest moments in that movie for you, what would that be? I would have to say the day that we were shooting in San Pedro, uh, we there was a naval ship that we were on mm. uh, that was really used in World War II, mm -hmm. and Jesse and I both had our uh, instead of of course you can't have a trailer on a boat, so our our room was the, a real bunk yeah. um, that the soldiers were in, and it was just so transporting mm -hmm. to be inside there and to know that that was actually the environment for soldiers that were going into battle and yeah. being in there it, it really enhanced um our artistry and then going from that and then doing the scene where i stood up and spoke to all of the soldiers about the mission that was before them which uh you know general bradley uh general omar bradley literally said that this is the most difficult task ever wished upon a soldier that mm -hmm. about point two wow. yeah that was a good scene yeah so what are you hoping that people kind of you know, I'm talking to Jesse, Jesse a little bit. It seemed like he kind of gained this whole, and I know you did too, a whole kind of appreciation for where we are today, and you know, and that it's because of the sacrifice of these men that we're willing to just put it all on the line. You know, 10,000 of them gave their lives, and uh, I believe it was around 150,000 that um, that embarked on that that mission yeah. uh, Operation overlord not your specific mission what um what kind of was your takeaway from that and what do you hope fans kind of get out of this movie as far as understanding 
you know, how we got to where we are today. I hope that fans receive very clearly the valorous acts that were done on that day and the sacrifice, the, the, the magnitude of the sacrifice that occurred on that day.